What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers, and I'm gonna be showing you the UEFI BIOS here on the ASRock Z170 Extreme 7 Plus motherboard. Now this BIOS will be pretty much the same across all of the Z170 boards from ASRock. Um, and this, some of the one, ones might be a little bit different depending on the series of motherboard, but they all should be pretty much the same. So starting out, we have our main screen, and this is just gonna give you information of what you're running. Um, it does give you the UEFI version, so if you're looking to maybe update or flash your BIOS, you can actually see which version you have first. Um, your processor type, processor speed, cache size, and all of the information for your memory. You also have a My Favorites menu. We haven't populated this with anything, but to populate it, all you have to do is highlight a option and then hit F5 and it will be added to the My Favorites. So if you have a setting that you're changing a lot, you can actually go in and add it to My Favorites so you can just get it in, you know, you don't have to dive into the BIOS to find it, you can just add it to the My Favorites. Now the biggest uh, tab that you're probably gonna be in is the OC Tweaker. This is where you can obviously tune and tweak your system. Um, so you have all of your target CPU uh, cache and BCLK speeds up here as well as your target memory speed. Um, which you can go ahead and see. And I like that because if you're changing settings, you can see what your targets are gonna be. You know, if you change a setting, change a frequency, you're not sure what, this, what the CPU is gonna be at, it's actually shown, so you can go ahead and see that. One thing I really like that ASRock has done is they divided the uh, different settings into folders. So for everything for your CPU, it's in its own folder. So you can you know change your ratios, you can change your frequencies, all that stuff. Um, Everything to do with the CPU is in its own folder. Then we can go to our memory or DRAM configuration, and this is everything for that. And they actually have this um, DRAM tweaker option as well. And this just basically shows you everything that's going on with your memory, um, and you can actually fine tune your memory as well with this uh, DRAM tweaker you know, uh, I guess it's, you would call it like a little app here that's in the BIOS itself. But this is all, again, all of the information and all of your timings for your memory. And again, you can go ahead and fine tune these the way you want. Voltage configuration, this is all of your voltages and everything like that, again, in its own folder. So you can easily go ahead and change that. Now, you can also load and save a profile. So say if you have a gaming profile, overclocking profile, something like that, you can actually load and save those as well. If we go over to the advanced tab, this is everything that is going on with your motherboard, CPU configuration, chipset configuration, storage configuration, Thunderbolt configuration, super IO configuration, ACP, ACPI configuration, and USB configuration. So again, I'm not gonna go into all of these because this is typically what we see uh, on pretty much all motherboards. It gives you the options to go in and change those different things. So if you wanna disable USB, if you want to you know, set up Thunderbolt, if you wanna change different things in the chipset, you can go ahead and do that. ASRock has included a, you know, quite a bit of different tools that you can use here. So the first one is System Browser. And if we go into that, it gives you a graphical overview of your motherboard and you can see what's installed and what's running. So you can see right here that we have an NVIDIA Corporation VGA and HD audio device. That is, of course is our graphics card. We can go over here and see the information on our memory and what it's running at. And same thing with our CPU. What's good about this is say you're having an issue, something's not running, you can actually see what the motherboard is recognizing in the speeds that it's running at. Um, again, and this is great for beginners or people who you know may not be that, uh, you may not wanna dive into the settings of the motherboard. You can kind of see everything right here in the system browser. We have online management guard, and this means that you can actually restrict the access or internet access on a BIOS level, um, which is great. So you know if you have children or something like that and you wanna turn off the internet at certain times, you can go ahead and do that. We have UF, UEFI Tech Service. This allows you to send an email out to Tech Service if you are having issues. Easy RAID installer and easy driver installer. These allow you to install drivers um, on the BIOS. You know, if you're doing uh, a Windows install or something like that and the drivers aren't there for the Windows install, this will actually install them. So you can go ahead and get that all set up. That's especially good if you don't have an optical disk drive, which a lot of people don't. You can easily install the, these drivers before you go ahead and run that Windows setup. Oops, let's go back to Boot Manager. And this um, allows you to set different uh, boot devices and all of that very easily. 
and then we have our dehumidifier function, and then we have our flash utility. So we have instant flash, which allows you to uh, flash your BIOS via USB, and you can actually flash your BIOS via internet as well. So you can go ahead and it will grab the latest BIOS, download it, and go ahead and install it for you. And then we have secure backup, which allows you to back up your BIOS. And then here we have our network configuration where you can set your network settings so you can get on the internet and go ahead and get that uh, BIOS file. Hardware monitor is a, of course, is a full um, monitoring of all of your hardware, it will monitor your temperatures, your fan speeds, and your voltages all in real time. So you can go ahead and see all of that and how it's running um, in real time. And then you can go down and you can actually set your fan mode. So right now we have a lot of these on standard, but you can go ahead and set them to silent, performance, full speed, and you can actually customize the setting if you want, and you can do it by temperature and all of that kind of stuff. Um, you can go ahead and set, you know, we'll put that back on standard, but you can set all of these different modes right here for all of the headers on the uh, board itself into security which is your which allows you to just go ahead and set passwords and all of that so if you don't want somebody getting into your bios you can set a bios password and then boot this allows you to set your boot options and your boot uh hard drive priorities and all of that allows you to set up boot from onboard lan all that kind of stuff you can go ahead and set up in here and then under exit of course we can save our changes and exit and you can actually load the defaults which i like um, a lot of times we don't see this. We don't see a load defaults for some reason on some BIOSes. I like to see it because sometimes you might mess up something and you just want to, you don't want to, you don't want to reset the BIOS completely, but you want to just load the defaults. Um, you can go ahead and do that just by selecting this option and we'll put everything back to the default and you're good to go. This BIOS works really well. Um, since we've been using it, haven't had any issues. we was able to do a uh, easy flash to flash the BIOS to the latest version. Again, no issues whatsoever. I would have liked to see sort of like an easy menu, um, something that would have maybe boot device priority as well as XMP profile, because those are the, the things that you change the most. Um, they, that's not in this. You do have to dive into the BIOS to kind of change that. Um, but besides that, it's a great BIOS. If you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.